In this video lesson, we're going to learn about the economies of scale, which examines the relationship between cost and output in both the short run and long run. What you see on this graph is that we have three short run average total cost curves, abbreviated SRATC. In each of these, short run average total cost curves represents a different size factory. This short run average total cost curve represents a small factory. This short run average total cost curve 1 represents a medium size factory and this short run average total cost curve 2 represents a large size factory. Let's say that you want to start a business and you want to start off modestly small with a small size factory. When our units are cheap, our costs will be low and our productivity will be high. But once we cross the minimum point of this short run average total cost curve, as additional output is less, our costs will continue to rise. Demonstrating the concept of diminishing marginal returns. Let's pay attention to this intersection here which represents Q for our quantity of output between this short run average total cost curve and short run average total cost curve 1. This point is showing us that we are over utilizing the space in the small factory meaning we have limited space in this factory because of the concept of scarcity. So to produce more outputs, we may need to move to a larger size factory. So if we move to the medium size factory, this point is showing us that we are under utilizing the space in the medium size factory. And as we progress through, and move along this line. Our units are cheap and our costs will be low and our productivity once again will be high but once we cross the minimum point of short run average total cost curve 1 as additional output is less our costs continue to rise demonstrating once again the concept of diminishing marginal returns. Let's focus on this intersection between short run average total cost curve 1 and short run average total cost curve 2 which represents quantity 1. As you can see when we move from the small to the medium sized factory we were able to produce more output. This point is showing us that we are over utilizing the space in the medium size factory because there's limited space because of the concept of scarcity so to produce more output we may need to move to the larger size factory and once again this cycle will continue this point on the larger size factory shows that we are under utilizing the space and when our units are cheap our costs will be low and our productivity will be high and as additional output is less and less our costs will continue to rise demonstrating the concept of diminishing marginal returns.
So in red, we have what is called a long run average total cost curve. And this long run average total cost curve represents all of the short run average total cost curves combined. All of these costs have varied and changed over time. Now, we have different points of this long run average total cost curve. This first point here, where we are demonstrating what is called the economies of scale. This is when our costs are low and our productivity will be high. Our units are cheap, our costs will be low, and our productivity will be high. To the far right, we have what is called diseconomies of scale. This is when our costs will rise when output increases because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. As additional output is less, costs continue to rise, demonstrating the concept of diminishing marginal returns. And in the middle, we have what are called constant returns to scale. And this is between Q and Q1. This shows that all costs are constant or fixed in the long run. And this point here, which represents quantity in the long run, this is the optimal level of output. Our costs are also at our lowest point, at the minimum point of this long run average total cost curve.